All right, so as most of you know, I like to play guitar, I like to teach guitar online, but I also like to collect guitars. And today, I'm really excited because I'm on my way to go pick up, I think, if this works out, a 1961 Gibson ES335. TDC, cherry red, Bixby tremolo. It looks amazing, I've seen pictures of it. Uh, and if everything works out, I'll end up uh, doing this deal. So we're on our way to Fort Dodge, Iowa. I've never been there. I have no idea what to expect. And right now we're in the middle of Northern Illinois somewhere. Uh, so I was up visiting my son, Ben, who's actually behind the camera right now. He's running the camera. I've also got my other son with me, Andrew. He's in the back. He's along with us for moral support. So the three of us are kind of making a little brocation out of this. So that's where we're headed to check out this guitar. I'm really excited about it. I don't want to mention the guy's name uh, who's selling it. I'll keep him anonymous, but that's where we're going. So stay with us. stop time we're here at Subway we're in uh, Galena Illinois all right here we go we got Andrew driving us Lord help us we're here let's go check this out Oh man. Hi, how are you? Good I'm to good. See you. Hi. Good to see you finally. Yeah. Yes, nice to see you. After we made we it. Went, all we went through. <laughs> A lot of back and forth. You want to come in there? Yeah, yeah, if that's okay. You open it up. All right, I know how to do that. I've done it a few times. The small case. Actually, they made them smaller then. Wow, look at that. That is, man, that is so pretty. Oh, it's just nice to look at. So many of them are all checked. Yeah. You've seen that. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, there's really no no checking in this. There is a little bit around here and a little, a little bit, bit right there. That's pretty amazing, yeah, though. But there's none up here. So many of them, it's just heavy checking up right. here. Right. Well, now they do that, you know. They, they age them. I know it. The Murphy Lab thing. It's crazy. I want them as on nice the back as possible. You must not have worn... I like didn't. I watched what I wore. The belt buckles, or you know, the buckle rash, or whatever. Belt buckles. buckles got turned. Oh, you did! Wow, you really took care of it, man. So the TDC, that's the thinner neck. With is the C for custom? Is that C is for cherry? Oh, for cherry for the color. Okay. TDC, and they don't always put the C on the yeah. number. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. And uh, when you got the Bixby on a 335, that was sort of a custom kind of deal, right? It came on it. I ordered it. Oh, factory. You, you did? Wow. That's factory ordered. And that's why this custom made is on here because uh -huh, that right. covers up that oh, the original bar hole. tailpiece holes. And yeah, stuff. that's. They were already in there, so. That's why they did that. I see those on, on some of the, the old uh, guitars where they But did. for a long time I thought, wow, that's custom made just for me. <laughs> well, let's plug that puppy in. Yeah, yeah. This is just great. dating my wife and I lived in a small town out here and she lived in town uh -huh. in an upstairs apartment and I thought why am I carrying this stuff all the way home when I can just put it in her apartment it's in town yeah so she was at work I was at work and a good buddy of mine came over he said Connie's apartments on fire and so we ran over there and went up the front stairs and the fireman said get out of here you know yeah. So we went around the back and went up the fire escape, went through another lady's, opened the window, went through another lady's apartment, into her apartment, got my stuff, 
went back down the fire escape, saved it. Wow. happen so much. What do you think? You like that? I think so. I think I'll do it. <laughs> I think I'll do it. You know, I know yeah. you'll take care of it and I know... Well, you'll still get to see it. I'll yeah. It'll show up on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll probably play it on your lesson thing once in a while. Oh, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. I got to keep your tradition of like, you know, keeping this thing pristine. No, no belt buckles, but, no... Uh, but you'd never know that played 150 zillion jobs. No, it really wouldn't. I, if I were just looking at that, I would think this is somebody that probably didn't play it very much. It's one of those things where I know you, you were just in our emails, you were saying you had some anxiety about parting with it. You know, I can imagine yeah. that. And like, you know, I'm not looking to resell. That's not what I do. Yeah. I just, I like collecting guitars. And if I find a yeah. really cool one, hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess we should uh, shake on this and <laughs> make it official, huh? All right. Okay, so we shot that video several months ago, as you could probably tell, it was back in the winter. And uh, it's just now making it out because uh, I needed my son, Ben, to do the edits and put this thing together. He was the one that filmed it, but he also made this video. He did all the creative editing. I don't have time to do that, and I'm not as, nearly as good at it as he is. So I thought he did a great job on this, creating a little mini story. And we'll do more of these types of videos if there's an interest in this. I'm always finding gear or, or you know, some kind of a, an old instrument, and I love the backstories in, in instruments. Not all of the instruments I have have a backstory story but um, but I, this one did and I just thought it was kind of cool so I'm gonna keep this guitar in excellent shape that's the goal I'm gonna keep it in as good a shape as it's in anyway and uh, it just uh, it's in good hands for sure one thing I didn't uh, that didn't come out in the video these uh, tuners are not the originals so these are the originals I actually do have them they came with it and he replaced the originals with these years ago I think he said it was maybe just not staying in tune the way he wanted um, so anyway th for those of you that are are uh, you know collectors and you really follow gear you some of you might have noticed that uh, but I do have the originals which is cool uh, but other than that it's all original and just in excellent shape I will be using it in a lesson this Friday so EP 572 is coming out in just a couple of days um, at least as I film this if you're seeing this in future just look for that, that lesson but it's gonna be a standalone composition it's really cool I just finished writing it and I'll be playing it on this guitar so you see this guitar in future lesson videos but Anyway, I wanted to share that. I thought that was kind of a cool little cool little story getting a getting a cool guitar. If you've got a guitar or or actually it doesn't even have to be a guitar, it could be a banjo or a mandolin, anything with strings on it, and it's kind of vintage and kind of cool, even if it's quirky, uh, shoot me an email, Brian at activemelody.com. You can uh, let me know because I'm always interested in that kind of stuff. And who knows, maybe it'll end up in a future video.